Hi guys, I'm currently in the Philippines and I got a new camera! Here's me testing out the camera on my dog Donya who's eating a melon. Later that night, we went out to the food district. I love going on evening strolls and enjoying the purple skies and gleaming zebra crossings. The food district had all sorts of delicacies, ranging from Korean topoki and fish cakes served in paper cups to barbecued chicken served on banana leaves. We ended up buying isao, which is barbecued chicken intestines, which is also super yummy. <laughs> Here's a mini grocery shopping interlude, and by grocery shopping, I really mean just hunting for good juices. The Korean melon flavored milk drink is my current favorite. I go crazy and usually get like 10 cartons in one go, but it's justifiable since Hong Kong only has the strawberry and banana flavors. We are in the Here I am at Las Casas, a famous tourist destination here in the Philippines that holds many vintage houses from different cities and has them arranged in a village setting. Oh my god. It looks like a haunted house. From what I heard, they would carefully tear down the houses from their respective cities, transport the materials, then rebuild them. The place allows you to immerse in authentic Filipino heritage by setting foot into houses that were once owned by wealthy Filipino families. And when I say setting foot, I literally mean it since we were told to take off our shoes before entering the houses. Oh my god, it's so scary. Wait. Some houses were only accessible via boats, which was so cool. The entrance of this particular house is made up of a staircase that is partially immersed in water. Preview. The views grew prettier by the minute once the evening approached. The dainty lights were on, illuminating the grand houses and giving them a more mystifying aura. This is my favorite view since it looks like Venice. After dinner, we went to the beach and ordered some drinks. The sky was wide and decorated with stars, which was very different from Hong Kong where the views are constantly interrupted by skyscrapers. Bye bye, let's get us. <laughs> See that thing? Outfit of the day.
This is my all time favorite Japanese restaurant. The Wagyu beef, California rolls, sashimi, miso soup, tempura are all so good. There's no other way for me to phrase it, they're just all so tasty. But my favorite dish here is the seafood fried rice. It's just so chewy and clumpy, literally so fun to eat. The next day, we went to Feli J's to eat authentic Filipino cuisine. The crispy pata here is really a bombshell, but the seasick fried rice is what really stole my heart. Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee. Hello. Where are we? Tagay Tai. People's Bar. After lunch, I met up with my cousins and went to Tagay Tai to visit People's Park. Tagaytay is one of my favorite places to go to whenever I visit the Philippines because the views are unmatched. You can see everything from the mountains to Tagaytay Taal Lake. There's no air. <laughs> We went to Mr. Kimchi for an early dinner. This KBBQ restaurant is extra special since you can grill the meat and enjoy the mountain views at the same time. And luckily for us, we could catch the sunset as well. The food here is not as pricey as the ones in Hong Kong, which is another plus. That night, we did something I had never done before. We went out drinking late at night. We brought some more friends to make it more enjoyable and heat it up. I don't like drinking alcohol, but it's super fun to have a night out with family and experience the underground type of nightlife. A few days later, we went to Chi Wellness Living in Tagaytay. It's this sort of spa hotel where you get a massage and a chance to swim in their yin yang jacuzzis, where one contains hot water and the other one has cold water. 
Again, the view here is immaculate and the breeze is so refreshing. The night view just enhanced my experience at Chi Wellness. Everything was just straight out of a Chinese dynasty drama, including the food, which consists of glass noodles and dim sum. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the vlog. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye!